Hello my fellow adventurers, today we take a dark look into what is most certainly a D&D &D horror story. So buckle up for a bumpy ride in this Dungeons and Dragons story. Before we start, why not show some love by hitting the like button if you find yourself enjoying the story below. How my ex-boyfriend outed himself as an abuser through D&D. &D. Quick content warning, slightly NSFW, vague mentions of sexual assault and abuse and a Foolish 18 year old girl making foolish 18 year old girl mistakes. So, as a quick preface, I was raised by a very strange crazy lady. I was told fantasy, sci-fi, comic books, basically anything not Barbie or Easy Bake was not for girls. Among a lot of worse stuff that may have something to do why I was 18 dating a 26 year old. So, the second she was out of my life, I dove head first into all of it and maybe got a little obsessive. At some point my boyfriend, at the time, ended up telling me that a friend of his wanted to DM a short beginner campaign for new players. Obviously, I was all in, but had no idea how to proceed. The players were me, 1718, ex-boyfriend, 26ish, and DM, 30s, plus one other player who I do not remember much of, but I do remember he played a homebrew-ish monk. The DM worked very closely with me on my character, an elf cleric of a homebrew religion. Her name was Aisha and she was a very shy, quiet, nun-like character with immense amounts of devotion to a homebrew goddess. He had helped me make a low maintenance RP character who also had very strong ties to the lore, the world and the planned plot. It was great for my personality and honestly a very nice way to slowly wade into the waters of D&D especially roleplay. The DM also told me in private that I was going to be something of a MacGuffin as Aisha's goddess would commune with her through dreams and visions. But I would have the final say on what to share with my party, both in game and out of character. The basic plot was a sect of Aisha's religion was becoming a cult and warping the religion so Aisha's goddess sent her on a mission to squash the heretics. The ex-boyfriend rolled a tiefling warlock, who he named after his own gamer tag. Let's call it Seven. So, Aisha and Monk meet up and have the same goal. Turns out the cult has taken over the monk's temple and killed his best friend. Aisha doesn't trust strangers who are not of her religion, but her goddess tells her to work with the monk. Okay, cool. Then we meet Seven. Aisha insta hates him. He's a warlock and she's a religious fanatic. Monk convinces Aisha to let the warlock join us as he has some secret mission from his patron that at least somewhat aligns with Aisha and the monks. She doesn't like it but she trusts Monk because her goddess said that she should. Seven instantly starts to hit on Aisha. She's rejecting awkwardly both in game and out of character but it's not too bad. It kind of makes sense that an evil warlock would get a kick out of making this goody two shoes feel uncomfortable. We have a few fun nights, meet a PC who Aisha really likes and gets a great vibe off of, but can't convince to join us because I failed the charisma checks. She's mad, shy and timid. And as she's expressing this affection to the NPC, Seven gets mad and tries to steal from him in his own home. Aisha gets mad and calls him out. I never said she was subtle, and instead of dropping the random thing he stole, Seven decides to attack the NPC. Guards get called, DM goes easy on us, and instead of TPKing, has us kicked out of the city. This is when Seven kicks it up. He begins making much harder, stronger moves on Aisha, and out of character I'm giving to feel really uncomfortable. I'm new to roleplay and also at the time I was very uncomfortable with PDA so this was not great for me. We make camp after a rough goblin encounter and Seven immediately says that he wants to sneak into my tent. The DM pauses and asks why. The ex-boyfriend, I'm going to fuck her. DM, um, Aisha? I quietly and uncomfortably respond, Aisha wouldn't do that. The DM, that's a no Seven. So Monk, ex-boyfriend, I sneak in then. The DM takes a long pause to talk to her, ex-boyfriend, nope, to sleep with her. DM takes another long pause. Actually, Aisha is talking a vow of celibacy. Sorry, I almost forgot. This actually wasn't on backstory, but also wasn't far out of the realm of possibility. I did note on backstory that she was somewhat prudish, so a vow of celibacy doesn't seem much of a stretch. 
her ex-boyfriend. So what? My character doesn't care about that. DM, so you're going to force yourself on her? Ex-boyfriend. If I have to, he is literally grinning as he says this. Monk looks disgusted and shocked, and the DM just looks confused. Now I'm starting to feel myself shake and go into a mini panic attack. I can't say anything, I'm just focused on trying to breathe. The DM, I'm not allowing that, Seven doesn't do that, just no. He pauses for a long time, takes off his glasses and rubs his face, then he sighs and says, You know what guys, I've got a headache, let's end this season early. As we pack up, the DM sends he has a new dream from Asia, and it's the norm for us to discuss those in private away from Monk and ex-boyfriend. So we move to a different room. DM gives me his wife's cell number and says to please call her if I ever feel unsafe. He tells me I have lots of friends who care about me and that I don't have to put up with anyone mistreating me. When we get in the car, ex-boyfriend starts ranting about Monk, saying that when they were alone, Monk had made a comment about how gross he had been and that ex-boyfriend had said his character was just as entitled to Aisha's body as he was to mine. DM never invited us to another session, though him and his wife did call me a few times after to check on me, something that sent the ex-boyfriend into rages. Looking back on it, I can see that this game was the first time anyone had put to words what was happening in real time to me, and hearing it from an older man really began to fit the pieces together in my head how unhealthy that relationship was. And yes, the things he tried to do to my character were similar to things he did to me. It took a D&D &D campaign to make me and his friends realise how nasty he actually was. This was six or seven years ago, but I've been thinking about this lately because a friend of mine has encouraged me to try out D&D &D again. This time, with him as DM and a male character inspired by a cross of Dick Grayson and a character from the Feist novels. Hopefully, second time's the charm. TLDR, boyfriend at the time plays D&D &D with me, puts himself as a creep by trying to rape my character, loses respect of his longtime friend. P.S. Sorry if most of the horror from the story happened out of character, but I only realised recently that this was when the horrible relationship started to crumble, and I'm only recently rediscovering my interest in tabletop RPGs. So the events have linked to my head, and I thought it would be cathartic to share. To anyone who cares, I'm a long time out of that relationship, and in a healthy one with a man who, my own age, and one with a lot more listening, respect, and care. Thanks for reading. Edit. Wow! I am blown away by the amount of support and care in the comments. Thank you all so much. I don't really make a lot of posts on Reddit. Usually I just scroll and I never expected to wake up to this. Thank you so much for showing me how truly awesome and beautiful this community actually is. I've been hesitant to start again, but some very patient friends have been helping me get there and I felt like I was ready. This was honestly a post meant to be me shouting my story to the void, so I'm shocked and touched that the void decided to shout back words of kindness. You're all amazing. Thank you so much. Wow, what a crazy story, and I'm so glad it all ended well, and that the author has such fantastic support of friends and a much, much better new partner. So all, well, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this one, why not hit that like and subscribe button, and hit that bell icon to be notified when we next upload. Take care. And I'll see you all in the next story.